Hi, welcome to Delta. I'm Kelly Broadbeck, product manager for Teledyne FLIR's commercial drone, Cyrus. Cyrus stands for Secure Infrared Aerial System. Cyrus does not connect to the internet, which means your data is always safe and secure. It's stored in the drone and on the controller, and it stays there until you decide where you want to put it. The infrared? Well, we're Teledyne FLIR. We make the best infrared products in the world, and Cyrus is equipped with one of our most powerful infrared cameras. It also has a visible camera as well. Today, I'd like to talk about some firmware updates and our batteries. Firmware updates are how we make Cyrus improve, and we come out with them about every month or two. It's very important that you register your drone with Teledyne FLIR so that we know where you are and we can contact you when we have a firmware update. Our most recent one has a variety of new features, but the most important is a heightened level of battery management. As these batteries get older and go through many cycles, they'll degrade like any lithium ion battery does. There's a feature in the control menu, actually the safety menu within the controller that talks about battery health and you should check that every time you fly. But if you forget, if you're in a hurry and you take off, you might have a battery that's starting to get old. Maybe it's gone through many, many charges and maybe it's not the best battery to have out there. Our latest firmware update does a whole bunch of new battery checks. It looks at the temperature, it looks at the health of the battery, how many times it's been charged, and it looks at the pair of batteries, making sure that they're paired appropriately, similar charge, so that Cyrus operates at its best. The batteries will lose charge on their own, about 1% a day. So if you go out and fly and you stop at 10%, you put the batteries away, and then you wait two weeks to come back and charge them, chances are they will have drained to zero and they will not work. Charge them up to 100%, store them in a cool, dry place. Don't store them in the drone. They'll lose about 3% a day if you do that. Don't store them in the charger, even if the charger is turned off. There's a top and a bottom. Please consult the user manual for the proper orientation. There's a gasket that goes around them in order to give a great IP rating, IP54 a nice seal so that you can actually fly this in a bit of weather. The orientation uh, of the batteries lines up with the latches that hold them in place. They just slide in, they don't need to be forced. The latches don't need to be forced. When you're charging the batteries, we have these little rubber covers. Put them into the charger. They only fit in one direction. Give them a little twist so they'll sit down on the pins without bending the pins. Batteries take about 30 minutes to recharge. So register your drone, get those firmware updates. If you have a problem with the battery, contact your dealer. I want to thank you for watching today, and I want to refer you to our user manual and to fleer.com forward slash Cyrus in case you have any uh, questions. There's a lot of great information there. There's an FAQ. Always reach out to your dealer, and you can always reach out to us via our website. Thank you so much.